A good evening. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Emily Younger. And I'm Jeff Hernan. From the 80s to the 30s, Ooh. a major temperature swing across the state this week. And in some parts, it's expected to be even cooler overnight. Area nonprofits are doing what they can ahead of the winter to help those in need. Samantha Boring joins us live on the KSN patio with that story tonight. Samantha. Emily, Jeff, spending time outside this morning as well as right now, those heavier jackets might be needed. Today, the Salvation Army started handing out hundreds of winter coats to help people stay warm as we get ready for these colder months. Trying to get me a winter coat and hopefully some uh, clothes and stuff like that. Monday, people lining up outside the Salvation Army in downtown Wichita to prepare for the cold weather. Just wanted to be there for whatever needs they might have. The Salvation Army coat distribution provides winter coats for all ages, plus other items such as hats, gloves, and blankets. The Salvation Army expects to help more than 1,000 people this week at multiple locations, including eight park and rec community centers, a new part to the coat distribution. It hopes this can help offset the cost for people struggling. Families just are very limited fund-wise. It's been challenging and difficult the last couple of years. And when it comes to replacing coats that children maybe have outgrown, it's hard to find that extra money in the budget. Down the road, Humankind is helping the homeless with its outreach team, providing food, water, Water and hygiene products, but also gearing up for the cold weather. And as the weather gets colder, that will include um, providing blankets, sleeping gear, um, sleeping bags, maybe winter coats. While this cold snap will be short lived, the work these nonprofits are doing will help long term. It's nice to have the Salvation Army and places like that that could be willing to help the homeless. Both nonprofits could always use help with volunteers or donations. The Salvation Army code distribution runs through this Friday. And to find out how you can help with both nonprofits, you can head to KSN.com. Here for you, Samantha Boring, KSN News 3.